Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video with me, Kev. It's been a while since I've done um, a video, especially a gameplay video. Um, and I was actually going to do a vlog, uh, so I actually recorded a vlog the other day, but I was in such a foul mood and I, I just, you know, watching it back myself while editing it, I was kind of like, you know what, I'm not really feeling this. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do something different. Um, and yesterday, uh, which was Thursday the 19th, um, the new Euro Truck Simulator 2 DLC dropped. So I was like, you know what, I want to get on that DLC grind. Um, and there's also a World of Trucks event currently as well. Um, to do, I think it's 15 jobs, but they want, I think it's like 300 million miles or something. Uh, for the community to do to get some free stuff in game so I thought you know what I'm gonna do that sounds fun uh, so I just thought you know what let's just do that instead uh, that's gonna be down here innit so yeah I just thought to myself you know what let's do that instead um, let's sack off that vlog because I was having a whinge as always do something different. Alright, let me hitch up to this. Take out a reverse, drop that beep in, it's annoying. Alright, there we go. So yeah, there's... A can I go out down this way? I mean, there's cars there. I don't see if I can go out down there. Hmm. Because otherwise I've got a jackknife bit around there. Why am I not moving? Because I've stalled it, that's why. Alright, let's just try and jackknife it. Let's lift that up a bit. That might help. This is going to be fun. Floor it. <laughs> I mean, we got out, so it's all good, right? So, yeah, the new DLC is out. Um, and I just thought, you know what? Because I was having a whinge and whatnot. I don't know what's going on with the, sh uh, the shadows there. But, all uh, right. Um, yeah, the new DLC is out, so I just thought, you know what, instead, let's sack off that vlog, because I was being a negative Nancy, as always. And let's do something different. Something that people might actually be interested in watching, rather than just watching me having a moan. Um, so, yeah, first of all, I am semi-back on YouTube. Uh, some people have been really supportive recently, actually. Um, Erwiswood, DJ, Jess, and why not? Um, pushing me to... Well, not pushing me, but, you know... Giving me encouragement and whatnot to... Oh, hello, mate. Sorry. Uh, giving me encouragement and whatnot to actually get back to doing videos again. And it's really appreciated. Um, so, yeah. I'm sort of back, but I do still have a lot going on in my private life, IRL, if you like. Um, I will touch on that a little bit in this video, you know, as to what I've been up to and all that sort of stuff. Because some people, you know, don't really follow um, what I do on like, social media and, and whatnot. Um, because most of the time I'm just having a whinge about something. So, if you have encountered me having a whinge, I do apologise. It's not me normally. But, yeah. It's just been... This year is just... I don't know. For me, even though I've done some cool things and whatnot, and I've met some new friends and, and whatnot, I've lost a few friends as well. Um... They haven't passed away, they've, they've just fecked off out of my life, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah. 
I'm not bothered anymore. Um, the thing is, that, that, you know, that's actually one of the things that I was talking about in the vlog, actually. Um, about friendships and about friends in particular. I didn't mention actual friends. Um, the, uh, what I'm about to talk about. But I'm one of those people, I think I did tweet about it. I'm one of those people that I always evaluate, like, friendships. So it's kind of like, who's pulling their weight? As, you know, as much as, you know, they want me to pull my weight and stuff like that. Because for me, friendship is all about 50-50. It's all about give and take. You know, you can't take somebody's friendship if you're not willing to do anything for it. You know, that's just being a greedy bastard, in my opinion. Um, so it's like when people, you know, sit there and tell me, like, oh, you never DM me. Well, let's be honest, it's because you don't DM me, so why should I DM you? Um, it's a bit of kind of tit for tat, but it's one of those things. You know, if you're not going to make an effort, then neither will I. Um, I think I'm going down this one. I probably could have gone down the other one. No, that's a way out, I think. I don't know. I don't know. We're going up here anyway, so it's all good. We're getting there. Um, but yeah, well, I have friends that don't really speak to me on a regular basis. And most of them don't really say anything to me, like in, in regards of I don't message them or, or anything like that. Most of them just... You know, that's kind of how our friendship is. But when we do talk, it's really good. Um, courts, for example. I don't really talk to courts, like, every day or whatever. It might be, like, once a week or once a month or something. We might talk, and then it's kind of like... It's almost like we haven't stopped talking to each other kind of thing. But that's just how our friendship's always been. And, you know... I still regard her as one of my best mates on, on Twitch. You know, she's, you know, dare I say it, top three in my best friends and whatnot. Um, Twitch friends, that is, uh, not overall. I mean, overall, she's probably top three still anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't really do that whole thing of, you know, this is... You know, this friend's, like, second best or, or anything like that. There's only one friend in this world who I do do that with. And that's with one of my best overall friends. Um, because I went to school with him and, and everything like that. I've known him for, like, 24 years or something. Um, and he just goes beyond what anybody else has ever done when it comes to being friends and whatnot. Um, you know, if he doesn't hear from me for, you know, a couple of weeks or whatever, he will just, you know, ring me up or send me a text or whatever. Just to be like, you know, what's up, dude? You still alive or whatnot, you know? Um, and that's one of those things. You know, especially more so, like, recently, where, you know, people just haven't really bothered with me. Um, and it, it does genuinely get lonely and very isolated when you don't hear from people for, you know, however long. And when people don't bother you with you, you know, it's just like, whatever. You know, I'm not going to reach out. So, yeah. But... He is one of the only people that I really, you know, hold on a, a pedestal. You know, everyone else is, you know, really good mates and whatnot. You know, the likes of, like I said, Quartz, uh, Liddy, um, Wheezy, Claire, Jess, the I, I can't remember who I've said now. But anyway, you know, those guys are, you know, really friendly. You know, I do have a chat with them every so often and it, it means a lot. You know, when you're living in a, a property, whether it be a flat or a house or whatever, and, and you're on your own and you don't speak to somebody, it gets horrible. You know, it's the worst kind of feeling, that kind of 
you know, being lonely all the time and whatnot, having nobody to talk to. I mean, let's be honest, half of the time I end up just wandering around the house, just talking to myself. But I mean, we've all done it, right? So, yeah. I'm joking, by the way. Um, you know, I am one of those people that I, I wander around and, I, and I'm like, where the fuck did I put this? You know, things like that. I don't wander around the house having conversations with myself. I'm not that crazy yet. Though I am sort of getting there. You, you fecking would go in here, wouldn't you, after I'm going in here? It's too late, I'm bigger than you. Um, so yeah. But it is nice just to hear from people every so often, you know? But it, I think it's just one of those pride things that people don't want to be the one to reach out and start the conversation. So I've just got to a point recently where I'm just like, well... I know who's really there for me. You know, the ones that reach out if I go quiet and... Uh, the ones that bother. The ones that don't, I'm just not going to put in, you know, as much effort as I do other, other people. You know, I, I've never had a problem with reaching out to people and starting conversations, but at the end of the day, if they don't want to do it with me, then why should I do it with them? It's one of those things. But I'm not going to get onto that. That's, you know, a negative thing that I don't want to talk about. My whole idea of doing these videos is, you know, to have a laugh, to have a chat, you know, and forget about the, the curses of the world, you know, the the vermin, the leeches and all that sort of stuff, you know. Keep it nice, keep it friendly and all that sort of stuff. At the end of the day, though, all I will say, you know, if people do wonder why I don't message them, they need to take a very hard look at themselves. Um, you know. If it's not 50-50, then it's not for me. But am I going up, up here? Yes. And I think I'm just going straight on. Um, but anyway, what's been happening in my life? So since my dad went into residential care, which was... I think February, I think he went into residential care. Um, because he went into hospital on the 28th of January this year. Um, and he was in there for a few days. Um, and then he got moved to a residential care home where he's been. Um, well, he went to one for a respite care, which is, you know because he had he was in hospital for a bit you know and then he came out so he went into a care home for a respite just to recover from whatever um and he stayed there until they found him a more permanent place which is where he is now so the the residential care home he's in at the moment is essentially where he's going to stay um, and see out the rest of his days basically um to put it bluntly but since then, I've basically been on the, in the house on my own and just working my backside off to, to get things sorted out. Um, and it's been so manic, so hectic, you know, learning new things as well, you know, regarding tenancies and things like that. So it's been an eye opener learning new things. Um, so yeah, I've been doing all of that sort of stuff, um, trying to manage my mental health the, the best I could, probably not doing the best job of it if I'm honest, but I'm still alive so I can't be, you know, doing everything wrong here. Um, I have done a couple of videos as well, which is one thing I wanted to touch upon um, in this video. Voice? Hello? <laughs> um, yeah, one of the things I wanted to talk about in the, the, this video... Yeah, one of the things I did want to talk about in this video is um, I have recorded some videos previously. 
So, for example, there is, I think, two or three episodes of House Flipper on the farm DLC um, that I actually recorded. Why have I got to go this way? Probably because I'm a truck. Um, yeah, so I've done some farm DLC videos. One of which is pretty much edited. There's just a couple of things that I need to do, just put in the lower thirds and whatnot. Um, but they were recorded a couple of months back. Um, the first two episodes were actually recorded, I think, the day the DLC came out. So it's going to sound weird when they do drop. I am going to upload them. Um, I did think about, you know, redoing them or whatnot, but I was kind of like, nah, it's going to be difficult doing that. So I am going to put them out. Um, it's just going to be whenever I feel like, you know, finish off the editing and, and getting them uploaded and whatnot. Um, where are you going? Now I've got to slow down, dickhead. Um, so yeah, they will be coming out. There's also Mamba Zoo that I started doing some videos on. One's already edited and ready to upload and whatnot. So that will be coming um, along with the other videos from that. Um, I can't remember what else I've done. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of other videos that I've recorded. Um, so yeah. I've also got a few other games as well that I'm going to look at doing some videos on. One of which is Animal Shelter Sim. So if you go back uh, through my videos, you'll notice that I did do a video on the prologue uh, that came out. Well, I actually bought the, the game when it was released. So... I'm probably going to do some videos on that at some point. However, however, something that well, a couple of people have been asking me. Um, will I do any more modded Minecraft? And I'm going to be honest. Yes, is the answer, essentially. The short answer, yes. The long answer is yes. But I'm trying to find a mod pack that I actually like. Because some of the newer ones I'm just not feeling. Um, because some of the mods in them I'm just not a massive fan of. For example, Create, which is a new Minecraft mod or fairly new. I'm just not a massive fan of it. I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Create. And it's not because I haven't played with it. I have tried it. It's just too much for my brain to, to figure everything out. So I don't really care for it, if I'm honest. Um, so I'm looking for a pack that doesn't have create, and that's difficult. Because it seems most new packs these days, you know, it has create. And I'm just like, I, I don't care, man. I don't care. So, yeah, part of me was thinking about doing a custom mod pack putting it on Curse Forge and, and playing through it and allowing you guys to go and download it if you want to. Um, but I'll be honest, I can't be bothered. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I did see one that DJ found, actually. And I, th I think I have seen it previously, which is called Better Minecraft. Um, there's a couple of them, I believe. But there's one called Better Minecraft Forge. Which is what I'm considering doing. So I'm going to look into that and potentially do some videos on that at some point. I might check it out. Right. They want me to put that in there. That's not going in there. Uh, this is going to be fun. Was this a blind cell? You don't know. I can't see a thing, man. helping it from the right range Ugh. you know what I don't think this is going to go in because I can't see a 
fucking thing. I'm wondering if I can get it out the gate. Do it that way. Of it, something. I can get out the gate I can go back that way we hit the fence now doing the old trucker lean out the window and park manoeuvre I've seen so many people doing it like Luke C and whatnot. Luke C trucker J they all do it so if they can do it why can't I right, I don't see the box where they want this It is there, apparently. Oh. Yeah, so I have auto parking on, which gives me the hardest parking option. Which is sometimes fun. Not like Mr. DJ Acid, going with the easy parking all the time. Noob. Right, we're mates. I can say that. I think we've got it. So it's so 152 miles. So it'll be 23 minutes. Um, it didn't actually take me 23 minutes, but okay. So we made nine grand from that, and that should be another tick for the jobs. So yeah, I've done five to 15. Very nice. Right, so there we go. There's a job done. Let's just pull out of here. So yeah, um, I am back doing YouTube and whatnot. Um, I haven't got any kind of schedule or anything. If I'm honest, I'm just going to do videos as and when I see fit. Um, and if I feel like doing a video, I'll do a video, basically. Um, so if you're not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Turn on notifications as well, so you get notified next time I upload a video, which hopefully won't be another five months. Hopefully it'll be maybe a week or two i'm not sure we'll see you know what goes on it'll probably either be mamba zoo or the farm dlc for house repair one of the two uh place your bets which one you think it'll be and we'll find out um also if you like the video please give it a like rating um comment in the comments below as well all of that good stuff basically um and yeah look after yourself and I will see you in the next one.